This is a Poplar Mechanics book, and it's 924 pages long, and it's over a hundred years old. Now here's the table of contents, a bunch of table of contents. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12 pages of table of contents. That says miniature airplanes. Anyway, it's got worlds of articles in here. There's old cars. Now, like I say, this is 1911, over 100 years old. This is not a new book. This is a real old book. But it's in very good condition. In fact, it's amazing condition to be a hundred years old. I have an idea this is the only one of these books in existence. I can't believe there would be another one. And I know there couldn't be another one in this kind of condition. This is real good condition for a hundred year old book. And I don't know what all it has in it. I hadn't really read it. Anyway, 924 pages. <coughs> this book weighs over five pounds. Well, I'm not going to show every page. I don't have that much camera to show every page. But you'll get the idea. Anyway, Old cars.
This is all bound in a book. I assume it was bound by Poplar Mechanics over a hundred years ago. It sure wasn't yesterday. This just goes on and on and on and on. Anyway, 924 pages. It's all printed in 1911. And you can see the book's in very good condition to be over 100 years old. Here's the back of it. There's nothing on the cover, but now on the spine, it does say something, but it's hard to read. It says Poplar Mechanic. I can read that much. It says Poplar Mechanic's volume and I can't read the rest of it. But anyway, you can see the book's in very good condition. Here's the front of the book. <coughs> anyway, I sell it with a satisfaction guarantee. If you buy it and you don't like it, you send it back and I'll refund you money. No problem.